The action was on the floor of the House and Senate this week. I spoke with eCapital News Director Sean Ashley about what's making news at the Capitol. Sean, a bill expanding charter schools has passed both houses. Yes, Senate Bill 742 passed the House on Wednesday and then the Senate on Thursday and is now headed to the governor. What this bill does is essentially allow any school district in the state with certain limitations imposed each year uh, to create a charter school. Previously, those had been limited to the two major districts, Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Uh, but this gives more rural districts an opportunity to get involved in the process. Uh, for several years, efforts have been made to pass similar legislation. Most of that has put the decision making at the State Board of Education and the State Department of Education. Uh, but as Representative Lee Denny pointed out uh, this week during discussion in the, in the House, this allows the local school districts to make the decision on whether they're going to have a charter school or not. A bill that would pare back wind energy tax credits is advancing. That's right. It, w it also was passed by the House this week on Thursday and will now move over to the Senate. And what this does is reduce both the, uh, the tax credit that the, the wind energy gets for the amount of kilowatts that they produce, as well as the tax credit related to their property taxes. For the last year, there's been a lot of discussion about the tax credits related to the wind in industry, which is a growing industry in the state of Oklahoma. The industry itself has worked closely with the legislature in order to pair these back, and it looks like it's one that will go on to the governor eventually and be signed. And the governor has been signing bills, including one that would bring teachers into the state. That's right. She signed a bill earlier this this week that eases the process for a teacher, a certified teacher who moves into Oklahoma from another state to get her Oklahoma certification and move into the classroom. As everybody knows, there's a shortage of teachers and they believe this is one way which they can reduce those numbers. There's been a development in the right to farm legislation. Tell us about that. Right. This was to be a statewide vote uh, for uh, protection of farming and ranching in the state of Oklahoma. However, its author, Senator Jason Smalley, filed an amendment late this, this week uh, that would change that to a county option. It would still be a statewide vote initially that would then allow county voters to decide whether or not they want to extend protections to farmers and ranchers in their in their counties. What are you expecting next week? This is a deadline week. It's time for House bills to be heard in the Senate and Senate bills to be heard in the House. It will be a brisk week, a quick week, and then we move on to conference committees, some budget discussions, and then wrap up the session by the end of May. E-Capital News Director Sean Ashley, thank you. You're very welcome.